Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo and today we're going to talk about how to add a schedule meeting button to your email signature. Now before we get started, I might just quickly uh, mention that you can actually use this tutorial to add any sort of button you want to your email signature because the principle behind it is basically the same. So that means you can use it for you know, uh, adding a sign up button or a learn more button or book a demo or any, any sort of button that you want to add to your email signature. You can use this um, guide um, to do that. So first of all, I'll just show you um, how to do it in Gimeo first, um, and then I'll show you how to do it the manual way as well. Uh, so basically, I'll show you how to go into your email signature HTML file and how to actually edit the code and add your button in the code. So I've gone into Gimeo. I've already created a dummy signature here um, just using a template. And what you would normally do is, um, so you simply select your signature, go over to the layout tab. Now, because there isn't already a button at the bottom there, uh, we'll need to click this plus button here to create a section, and then we'll add a field to that section, and it'll be a new custom field. And we'll just call it button, and we'll make it an image type, and then just go add field. Okay, now we can see it's been added down the bottom there, and it's also showing up here under empty fields. We'll click on that field, and then we'll go choose an image, and we'll upload our own image from our computer. So this is the one we'll use here. And we'll just make it a bit smaller. Still want to include the shadows in there, of course. Like... I don't just like that. There we go. That looks fine. So you can see it's been added in there now. Uh, what you can actually do is you can add a little bit of space in underneath it by clicking on this image here, and then you can put it in, you know, gap below section. It spaces it out a bit more. Um, so we'll just leave it like that. And then what you can also do is you can scale the image down if you want to make it a bit smaller. And um, but we'll leave it at 100%. And you simply put in a hyperlink as well. So this will be your hyperlink for, let's say, your Calendly. Um, if you've got a Calendly subscription where you can book meetings, um, you can put the, your hyperlink in there. And last but not least, you can actually apply this field to either this signature or all signatures in this group. So if you've got a, let's say, a, a, um, a group calendar, um, you can apply it to all the signatures in this whole group. And then what that will do, Anyone that's in this DSG engineering group, they will get this schedule an appointment button. That and with the same, it'll be the same hyperlink there as well. So it's kind of really easy to um, you know figure it out. It's uh, it's not too complicated, but it allows you quite a bit of flexibility if you wanted to um, you know add uh, a button to only one signature and not the rest of the signatures in the in the group. But it also allows you to if you've got you know, hundreds of signatures. In your dashboard it also allows you to add uh, with one easy step uh, this button to all the signatures so that's the um, great part about Gimeo now for the next step what we'll do is I'll show you how to actually do this um, whole thing manually so we'll just uh, minimize um, this window for now now I've got an example signature here which I'll just open up in Chrome the first thing you'd want to do is actually yeah open up your signature in Chrome like I have here and um, just right click on it and um, click inspect and you'll uh, want to find where the last table row is for that signature so when i say table row i mean this part here where it says tr so this is table data td and table row tr so you want to find the last table row which it looks like it's this one here and uh, just make a note of that um, so we can see it's uh, five levels in from the bottom um, and we'll want to add our code in there. So just take a note of that. In the meantime, we'll just minimize that and we'll open up that example signature with a, a text editor like Sublime, which I've got here. I'll just move it over here. There we go. Okay, so we can see the example signature here. And if we just go right down to the bottom, we can see the table row, the last table row that we were looking at before is here. And I've already actually prepared um, a bit of uh, code that we can put in there, um, which I'll just put in there quickly and then I'll explain what it actually um, does. So what we've done is we've added um, another table row. 
So you can see here, this is the last one where it was before. And this was the table body. All we've done is we've added another table row. And then inside that table row, we've added a table data with the styling and um, uh, padding up the top. So it basically spaces it out a little bit. Now, this A part is where the hyperlink is. So this is where you uh, where your button will go to. So this will be your link for your Calendly subscription or any other calendar related subscription that you've got that you use. Um, and then this second part here, the image is, well, an image. So what you'll need to do first is you'll need to actually find a place where you can host your image. Um, in our case, we're hosting it on this URL here. So I'll just show you what I mean by that. Is if I copy that URL, I'll go into it here and I'll show you, you'll see it there. Um, now, you, you, like I said earlier, you need to find a place where you can host that URL and then um, link to it here. Uh, and then at the end, you want to close off that A tag, which is that linking, um, the, the part that allows you to link that image. So we'll just save that and I'll just go back in here and I'll uh, refresh uh, this page here. You can see it's already come up here now. And um, if I right click on that and inspect now, uh, you can see all the code that we've just inserted there. So that's the table row there. Um, now, I'll just uh, mention one more thing here. You can see that the image uh, height and width is set to specific um, numbers. I'll just explain what they are. So if we go back to the image where it's hosted here, um, and if we right click on it and go inspect, and then what we'll do is we'll hover over this line here. You'll see there um, up above where the image is, it says um, 138 by 71. Now that's the dimensions of the image. Now it's important that when we um, put the code, uh, when we have the code in here that says um, the height 71 and the width 138, it's important, that's, it's important that that is exactly the same as what the image dimensions actually are. If it's not the same, your image will look a bit skewed and the resolution of it won't look right and it could look, end up looking blurry or pixelated. So that's just something to take note of. Um, and that's about it, actually. Uh, there's nothing more really to, to know about it. Um, if you haven't already, um, give give me a try. It's As you saw earlier, it's quite easy to add a button to your email signature. And like I said, you can add any button you want. It doesn't have to be a schedule and appointment. And it can be any button you, you want to add. Like I said earlier, like a sign up button or a learn more button. Or if you want to you know, add a book, book a demo button or anything like that. It can be absolutely anything you want, even a banner. Um, and like you saw, it's quite easy to add it. It's um, really easy to scale it and everything else. Um, whereas if you do it manually through uh, code like this, it's quite easy to uh, mess things up and make your email signature look quite uh, broken. And um, the other thing as well is if you're um, wanting to you know, standardize your email signature and if you've got 100 email signatures for all your you know, staff in your company, it's going to get quite tiring um, having to add this code into every single one of them. Uh, and then, you know, when you want to change uh, the button or if you want to change a banner, it's going to get quite annoying having to change this code for each and every single email signature. So that's why we always encourage people to use Gimeo because it's um, really easy to add buttons and keep your signatures consistent across the board. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time.